Welcome to Chain, in which I have a nostalgic look back at a game I played as a kid. This time it's Galaforce by Superior Software. This one, coded by Kevin Edwards, is a real feat of programming ingenuity. The graphics are large and colourful and move around screen smoothly over a scrolling star field without any flicker at all. It really is a great illustration of what could be achieved on the Electron, particularly towards the end of its life. Let's remember the Electron only had a processor that ran at about 2 MHz, and in fact substantially slower than that in many screen modes. Anyway, let's get going. Zone 1. So ultimately what we have here is a fairly standard 80s shoot 'em up. The aliens come in various different designs and they attack in various different waves. And you can move your ship left and right and up and down. The up and down part was really quite unusual on the Electron at that time because it still lived in the era when most shoot 'em ups just had left and right and that was it. Now the attack waves are divided into a number of zones and the manual actually lists out the first few zones and their contents, but simply comments that from Zone 6 onwards the Federation hasn't released any public information about them. But it does then go on to comment that certain formations then do appear in later waves, and implies that there are 14 waves. It refers to Zone 14 as the impossible. Although 14 is a kind of an odd number, really. You'd imagine it would be something more like 16 or 20. But who knows, I certainly didn't get that far. Now this wave, these aliens are the first ones that require multiple hits to be destroyed, in case you think I'm just missing loads of them. In fact, with many of the waves, I don't actually think it's possible to destroy all of the aliens in the wave. And in fact, to the best of my knowledge, you don't get a bonus for destroying a whole wave. The scores are simply per alien. Anyway, this is the first time aliens come up in pairs, and uh, the formations do get more complicated and more challenging as the game progresses, as you might expect. So the game is called Galaforce, and when I was growing up, for some reason, no one had ever, you know, said it out loud to me. You know, I'd only seen the name of the game in magazine reviews and on the inlay for the game, and I assumed it was pronounced Galaforce because I'd seen the word Gala. But it never occurred to me at the time that the name was obviously based on the word Galaxy. You know, it's like Galaxy Force, isn't it? Or possibly they're riffing off another well-known shoot 'em up whose name begins with G. Now there was a sequel to this game, Galaforce 2, unsurprising name that, and more recently the company that produced it has actually made a PC version, which I think was called Galaforce Worlds. I did play that myself a while ago, but I can't really remember much about it now, because my memories of Galaforce are basically this game here. Anyway, Zone 3. According to the manual, this zone is called the Offensive, and is the first one which uses the Staircase and Big Dipper formations. Although I don't think this is either of those, because the staircase formation comes up in a minute. And this is actually a surprisingly tricky formation, because it's very easy to to get yourself killed by an alien. <laughs> um, you get so caught up in trying to shoot the aliens at the top of the screen that are actually dropping the little monsters that you completely forget to avoid the ones that are falling on you. But anyway, uh, let's see if I can get through this. Hopefully I can do a little bit better than that. So yeah, I used to uh, think of these aliens as uh, having particular sort of properties. It's kind of silly really, but the blue ones I always thought were like sort of plastic aliens. And the white ones, those I thought of as bears. And I think it was because they had those kind of grabbing hands. Oh, this is the staircase by the way, this is the staircase. And uh, I don't know, those red aliens, they kind of reminded me there was a, a typing tutor game from uh, Electron User the magazine, which had aliens that looked a bit like that. This is the Big Dipper. I'm pretty sure this is the Big Dipper because you've got that loop. I know, because I'm shooting them all as they do the loop, it's hard to see it, but that's basically what this formation is. Zone 4 already. Now, what does the manual say about Zone 4? They say this is the first time the aliens drop bombs at you, and also at the end of this zone, the aliens form into the enticing, or inciting actually, as they put it in the manual, which I think is a typo the inciting deck of cards formation, which is actually really difficult. I always found it a real pain. I think the best I ever did in this game was I got to Zone 6, which doesn't sound very impressive, but... As I'm sure you've noticed in this series, back in the 80s I just wasn't very good at games. <laughs> I liked these little red guys, by the way, they were kind of, kind of funny. I don't know, they always reminded me of a kind of hash character, I'm not quite sure why. The strange things that used to go through my head. Oh right, this is the deck of cards formation. It runs kind of at half the speed of the other aliens, but 
that doesn't make it any easier. In fact, in some cases it makes it harder because you're kind of used to shooting the aliens at the fastest speed. And what also, you had this problem that the big load of aliens, they take two hits to destroy each one. So it does take a while to get rid of all of them, but while this is happening, they're dropping bombs on you at two different speeds. And this is the tricky thing, because normally you keep track of, you know, the enemy shots out of the corner of your eye. But it's really difficult to, to spot, as they're passing over the aliens, which ones are going fast and which ones are going slow. So you tend to run into them without re realising, I nearly ran into one there. But I actually think I'm going to do this one, alright? So I just need to get the... I did get it! I did get it! I should be in Zone 5 now. Zone 5! Oh! Bugger! Zone 4 again. See, I've got video proof there. I deserve to get... Well, at least I'm back at the deck of cards, anyway. Um, an early win there for checkpoints, I guess. So anyway, we, we know we can do it, so let's uh, let's get through here. And we can progress to Zone 5, which will feature the Corkscrew, Poisson and Switchback formations. Very exciting stuff. And then the Uncharted Wastes of Zone 6, about which nothing is known. Um, and nothing will be known for some time, because... Uh, oh, I've got one life left. OK, let's, let's have another go. Deck of cards, right. But here's the thing, if all of these things have got names, all of these attack patterns and all of these zones have got names, why aren't they in the game? Why do you have to look in the manual to find them out? And for that matter, all of these aliens have got names as well. In the manual there is actually a list of pictures of the different aliens with their names and the scores that you get from the number of hits required to destroy them. And the names are things like Servitor, Edgenar, Neander and Deviant. Yes, there's actually an alien called a Deviant. So, like in Zone 1, it describes there being deviants in a U-turn formation, which conjures up entirely the wrong picture. So disturbing that I've actually lost a life. <laughs> is that is that my last life? Yes, game over. I'm on 14,000 points. High score, Daza. There we go. So yes, Galaforce from Superior Software. Fantastic shoot 'em up. I still enjoyed it after all these years. And uh, I hope to see you again next time on Chain, where we'll have another... Acorn Electron game from my past. Thanks for watching!